Welcome everybody to JW Exhibition Episode 14. We are kicking off the action real early. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Babyface D. From Bismarck, North Dakota, weighing in at 228 pounds, King Doug Jackson. Doug Jackson making his JW in ring debut right here tonight. We see Bradshaw in his corner. We seen him last week, or actually last night, or rather, at the uh, episode 13. Took a win against SKC, but this is Doug's chance. The other half of this team, but he's got a huge opportunity going one on one with a new, the brand new. Exhibition men's champion in a non titles match. What a match that was the last week in the main event where this man became champion Duke Drama. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 270 pounds, the men's champion. Duke the Drury. Duke Drama, your brand new and first ever inaugural JW Exhibition Men's Champion. He made history last night. Can he make history here again in his first match here as champ? Of course, he's not defending the title, but if he loses, that will be a huge loss of momentum. That is very important. But it's going to be hard to get this win tonight for Duke Jama. He just suffered that huge elimination three-way only 24 hours ago. Under that, actually. More like 23 hours ago. Duke Drama was a part of that match. Duke Drama was busted open. He's got that that uh, cut healed up here tonight. But he's still got to be feeling it. And it's going to be hard for him to defeat someone like Doug Jackson over here tonight. But walking up to start the match, Duke Drama seemingly getting the better hand down at the start of the match. Huge opportunity for both men to further the record here tonight it's going to be important for drama to climb the rankings even further as champion now proving that he deserves it well he's looking for a headbutt there a diving headbutt Doug Jackson moves out of the way with a kick to the spine another kick to the spine Doug Jackson not sure what to expect from him exactly this is his debut match as I mentioned earlier on in the night and that moonsault from the springboard position. One. Looking for an early victory there. What a victory it would have been. You can't count out uh, Bradshaw on the outside. Don't know if he's going to play a factor in this one. Now on the top rope. What is he going to do from the top? Not a good spot for him to be, no. Drama moved out of the way. Now maybe a neck breaker. Almost like a stunner to the back of the neck. If anyone's going to break your neck, it's going to be Duke Drama. And I think that Doug Jackson may have been busted open. Whose drama bus open last week? Tonight is his opponent. Doug just slides behind and takes up the knee. Now going in for the pin attempt. One, two. Trying to steal one there again. But he got further this time, but still needs one extra second. Size behind. Now just some punches right to the jaw. 
again on the other side. Kicks in the midsection, another moon salt. Is that one enough? Is it number three right here tonight? One, no. The drama out at one that time. But Doug Jackson is not giving up. He's keeping on the offense. This is a great awareness we're seeing here from Doug Jackson in his debut match. Not making any mistakes going against Duke Drama. But again, the high rift isn't working for Duke, or for Doug Jackson. Duke Drama keeps moving out of the way. Is he looking for this? Yes, planting Duke Drama. Or sorry, Doug Jackson. Into the mat. Big chop, big chop, big kick. Turn him around. One. No. Not enough to keep Doug down. Into the corner. And a big punch to the side of the head. Now an elbow to get out of it from Drama. Big punch back. Doug's almost out of it. Can Drama capitalize? What is he looking to do right here? It's never good. They're on the hardest part of the ring. No. What a pile driver to the outside of the ring onto the floor. But they've got to be aware of the counts here. Seems like Doug's able to get back into this. But that, that uh, pile driver could end anybody's night. Doug Jackson, he's a fighter. This is his debut match. He has a lot to prove and a lot to lose. If comes up short. And what would happen if he beat the brand new Exhibition Men's Champion? It may earn himself a future title opportunity at Drummond's expense. Now a bunch of strikes just on the outside. Maybe looking for a, a big kick right to the head to rock Duke Drama. Into the steps there. Doug Jackson back in the ring, maybe looking for a count out. No, changes his mind, breaks a count. Another, a lot of these strikes we're seeing from Doug Jackson seem to wear out Duke Drama. Tonight in the main event, we will crown the first ever JW Exhibition Women's Champion. Last week it was Duke Drama, who became men's champ. Who will win tonight? They're at the count of five. Duke Drama back into the ring. And so is Doug Jackson. Walking up, but toss into the corner is Doug. Jackson got out of it. And ends the. No, backbreaker. Combination here. This guy. Really rearrange the spine of Duke Drama. Now, what is he looking to do here? Super kick falls into the pin. Is that enough? One, two, three. No! Duke Drama is still in this. This is a fight we know so well from Duke Drama. But if he can knock in the sharp shooter, that might be all. Drama had left in the tank after that three-way last week. After everything in this match, and that is it. What a victory for Doug Jackson. In his debut match, just defeated the brand new exhibition men's champion. It's gonna be, that's going to mean big things for the career Doug Jackson as well as his teammate. But looking back here, it was so close. It was so evenly matched throughout different parts of the match. That super kick almost ended the night, but we seen Duke Drama just survive it.
Doug Jackson put up a fight and it paid off. Duke Drama just couldn't take all the damage over the past 24 hours. But it's time for our next contest. And here, this next match is a one on one matchup. The man formerly knows it, Justin Gates, Pyro. Is that how you pronounce his name? I'm going to pronounce that way. But he is here. He's not had the best record as of late. This is a big opportunity to turn that around. He's very talented. Just needs to get that victory. Those victories, those wins on his record. And he was project his career. Possibly to the new expansion title opportunity. <laughs> He's also got the sword. He's stolen his sword. And it's time once again for Isaac Frost to give us some. Pyro. Isaac Frost, obviously a, mem a former member of the Jerry main roster. When Exhibition became his own brand, he came down with it. From New York, weighing in at 238 pounds, Isaac. Isaac Frost, very talented in the ring. We've seen a lot of what he can do here in exhibition recently. He's really been able to get some momentum going since coming to exhibition and kind of uh, refreshed to the career of Isaac Frost. He wasn't getting very many wins where he was on the main roster earlier in the year. But since coming back, or since coming down to exhibition, he got that winning against Broken Mike last week. Tonight, he's looking to get another victory. On the record, right here tonight, it's Gannicus. And now kicked the midsection, however. CB. Look at the power. What a belly to belly suplex. That is what I mean. He has really improved since coming here. Two close little ropes, however. Feet were underneath. But look at him just power around his opponent here tonight. And now shots and strikes everywhere. But he's able to survive it. And suplex. Legs were caught on that top rope. It's going to be even harder. Landing them on the back of the shoulders and the head. Now some fast punches right into the nose, right into the face of Isaac Frost. Why is it? Now some elbow strikes to his opponent. Oh, he's looking for those punches to the face once again, but Isaac turns around and gets some of his own. Now up, He's and now some strikes of Isaac Frost, dodge that last one. What a suplex, and now there's some kicks to the face. Some interesting style 
interesting pacing here. It's a little bit uh, slow and methodical, but also so fast. The striking. One, two, no. Not enough yet. He has to keep on this offense. If he can do so, Isaac Frost might just have to stay down for the free count. But what a future shock DDT. It connected. And now Isaac just thinking what he has to do next. He's, got, he's going for the pin. He thinks that might be it. One, two, no. It's not enough. Keep. But he's back up and kind of baited him in there, I think. Played possum. Took out the shoulder and now maybe a suplex. Or maybe. Whoa. I don't even know what the correct name of that was B, so I'm not going to try. One, two, three. No. Isaac Frost is out. He was looking for the headbutt, but got met with an uppercut for his time. Now a suplex. He's. He might be saying up the finish to find a touch of the Claymore. If you connect this, it's all over. Claymore. One, two, three. No. Out at 2.9. Isaac thought that might have been it. That might have been all over. Yeah, he's just mad. He's just powering around like we seen earlier. Just slam around the face but he can't get too caught up in his emotions or he's going to get costed this match but again just powering him around I would say the bigger man Isaac to the top rope now what a clothesline from the top rope one two no Isaac doesn't know what he has to do. He's thrown everything and everything he's got he can think of. Now a power bomb, maybe a power bomb. Now I'm gonna go back to the top. No, I'm gonna hit you with a second claymore. There's no way he can kick out two claymores, is there? One, two, three, what? Out at 2.9. Once again, two claimers. The future shot DT. Close line from the top rope, and it's still not enough. Now, on the knee, take a seat. Isaac Frost. Genicus came back into this match. Now, now just throwing an Isaac Frost, powering him around. Two very strong men. Pound for pound, the strongest men in exhibition. And a shot right there. It looked like to maybe the shoulder. Maybe on the neck. Powering around once again. This is his chance to hit something big and maybe get the match won. Hit him, miss with his first hit with the second. Now powers him up. Military brick. No, power slam. That might be enough right there. One, no, only a one. How did Isaac Frost kick out at one? And now turns around once again, shots to the face. Yeah. In the midsection, maybe looking for another future shot DVD. There's no way he kicks out of that. Two future shot DVDs, two claymores, two, what? How? How is he still in this match? He doesn't know what to do. He might be looking for the Claymore, maybe to the, go to the top rope. Change his mind and cost him once again. That's got to be enough for Organicus to pick up the victory here tonight. One, two, three. What? Back and forth. I thought this match was over like five times already. But both men, they know what they need to do. Hit that headbutt into the Saido. But too close to the ropes. That must 
we have to believe that would have been all. Isaac Frost couldn't have gone out with that one as well. But just the just took too much time and it cost him. Isaac Frost's foot was under the rope. But now the submission, just maybe raking at the eyes, the eye sockets. Gruesome submission hold, but we are on Isaac Frost. But can he survive it? Can he tap or will he live to fight another day? He stays in it. I think Gannicus just let go of the hold. So that's enough. I'm going to finish right here. But maybe it wasn't the best move because now Isaac Frost came back into it. Neck breaker. Now picking up. And a big punch right between the eyes. Busted open his, his opponent. And now a Claymore in the same spot. There's no way. Three Claymores. Two future shocks. Two... Three. No disrespect to either of these men. They put it all on the line. What a match. It went it could have went either way in the end. I mean, we've seen all these moves. These all these claimers, all these future shocks, all the moves from Gannicus as well. But in the end, here is your winner, Isaac. In the end, Isaac Frost stands tall. He's another win on his record. Going straight to the top is Isaac Frost. But we do not stop here on exhibition. Episode 14 is go, go, go. It's time for our next match is Alex Andrews who's making his way down to the ring right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana. Weighing in at 214 pounds. Archangel Alex Andrews. Alex Andrews. It's going to be a tough challenge playing down the bigger man. Here tonight. We've seen him in action once before. Can he keep that moment, get some momentum going, get his second match here in JOW the exhibition, leave it off with a victory to be great for the career of Alex. Remember that tomorrow night, tomorrow night is Thursday night, which means one thing and one thing only is JW live here on YouTube. Tomorrow night it will be a huge and a stacked show, including Chance Sill, who Alex Andrews does have a history with and other promotions. But Chance Sill, the five star wrestling champion, will take on James Meadow. For the five star wrestling championship contenders match, including a lot more. Check that out tomorrow night. But we're here, we're here tonight. Exhibition episode 14. And it's time for Alex's opponent to make his way down to the ring. been a huge week of JOW. Tonight we find out the first ever exhibition women's champion. Last night was a men's. Tomorrow night it's JOW back in here. But look at this man right here. Victor is looking to beat someone up. And unfortunately for Alex Andrews, I, he is that man. Victor made his debut, I believe it was against Fallen, if I'm not incorrect, which I may be because I didn't check that. Either way, very impressive in his debut match. 
It will be interesting to see how he fares here tonight. Going one on one with Alex Andrews, a relatively smaller man. Different styles colliding here tonight. This man from Russia is a bruiser. He's going to beat everybody up. He has to to get some su some success here in exhibition, especially with the new men's championship. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Bear. He calls himself the Bear. That just tells you what his attitude is like. He seems pumped up, so does Alex. But who will be able to walk away with a victory? I mean, we're seeing here Victor's got the height and size advantage. And the power advantage is resisting right there. We got to believe Alex got some speed. It's going to be down to the pacing of the match, I believe. It really depends on if who can keep their speed going. Victor's going to want to keep it kind of slow, I guess. But here's Alex getting into this. Nothing to sneeze at. What a stunner on the top rope. Now to the top rope. He is down with a... Yes, sir. Just taking down Victor. Connected way right on the forehead and now pounding the same spot. It's looking for a but no, met with a big boot. Missed with that uh elbow drop. The count of five. Don't want to be counted out too early on here. But Alex and Alex realized it. Back into the ring. Allowing Victor to get back in as well. But met him inside. Now maybe a suplex. Couldn't get the full rotation. Maybe just didn't want it to. It's allowed him back down. Now he's got the submission hold locked in. Almost like a overleaf. Now Andrews decides to go flying. But I think it looked like there that Victor just swatted Alex from midair. Now a big forearm shot that takes Andrews down. Lifting up. And just smashing on top of the head, on the back of the head. One, two, not enough. Not enough to keep Alex Andrews down and out. But huge lariat. He's just beating him up now. He's got to keep this pace and it's all over for Alex Andrews. If he can just keep battling him up as we just leave it there, Alex Andrews Busted it open. Game Batcher's feet rolled out of the way. Blocked there by Victor. Trading shots into the midsection. A cold red. Canadian destroyer. Super kick. And falls into the victory. We seen Dr. Jackson do this earlier. Is it enough? One, two, three. No. Victor out at two. We're seeing the blood flowing from the forehead. But now, Victor getting back to his feet. What is Andrews trying to do here? Big accent of a smash. Kick to the back of the neck, but dodge just in time for big Victor. Victor just working on that shoulder. Now 
Bullets mashing in the lead. He's trying to do as much damage. Is that an F1? No. Now Victor in a power bomb. What a power bomb. All that strength going into that. Victor's got it all sorted out. What a suplex. I don't know if Alex is going to be able to get out of this. It might just be a matter of time now. Once again, in this position, back on the head. I think Victor might just be toying with him. They're just looking for that big move to come away, too. Andrews is no quitter. He still has hope left in him. I think Victor just wants to hit that one big move. A kick or a punch to like the five. And now King L once again shoulders to the midsection. Big kick. And another code red. And blocked to Ferron over top is Andrews. And now the Kahita Clutch locked in. I don't know if it's going to be able to escape. Can he put that foot on the rope or is this all enough to put away Alex Andrews? Perhaps not. I think he just let go. Maybe going for the pinfall though. One, two, three. No. Andrews will not quit. Andrews will not give up in this matchup. No matter all the damage Victor has been able to sustain. And now big club to the back of the head. Lifting him up, and again, that's got to be it. The cross jacket is locked in. No matter who you are, you cannot stay in that. Congrats to Victor winning that match. The great showing from Alex Andrews. He showed everyone in the locker room, everybody watching, that he will not give up easily. It took two cross jackets from Victor, the big bear, Victor, to keep Alex down and out. Here is your winner, the bear! Victor stands tall. And showing the locker room what's next. And it might just be better for you to fall and pray. But up next, we have more action. We are not slowing down. It is all kicking off. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing in at 266 pounds. Ace making his JOW debut. The Ace of Spades. Big opportunity here against the former VIP Promotions Internet Champion in Aiden Archer. Speaking of the former VIP Promotions Internet Champion, he's about to make his way down to the ring. Last time you seen him, he main evented defeating just in case. His opponent from Burke, Virginia, weighing in at 177 pounds, the technician, Aiden. Aiden Archer. Been very impressive in his short time here in JW, here in JW Exhibition. I think he just needs that, that big win, that big couple of wins to get right up in the rankings. Challenge for that uh, new men's championship. 
everybody's going to be wanting to go after Duke Drama. Duke Drama's got a big target on his back. Only one championship here to fight for in exhibition if you're in the men's division. And the same for the women. And Archer got that title over in, I believe it was CXW. He became VIP Promotions Internet Champion. He would have brought it over here to JW Exhibition for one night. Defended it against Exhibition's resident superhero, just in case. It's victorious, but tonight is about Aiden Wildcard. Ace. Ace with a form shot, making his debut match. What a victory it would be over the former VIP Promotions champion. And now we're looking for a quick win. One, two, three. No. He almost stole it right there. What an upset that would have been. Like five seconds. And tosses him up and slams him back down. So far, all ace. Spanish fly in the corner of the ring. And now. Stomping the pinky, anything but the pinky. But now picking it up and he's not done yet. But Eden able to get out of that. Archer now wrenching on the shoulder and the arm. He's faked out, faked out the champ or the opponent. Maybe the second rope. The Meteora. Right on the target with that moonsault. Maybe looking for a phenomenal forearm right here. Is it a drape DDT? Not a drape, just a DDT in general. But what a DDT it was. Two, three, no. Almost had it. One. Both men giving it all here early on in this match. This one might not go very long. Both men just really want this victory. They're hard hitting. These two know what they have to do. One, two, three, no. Get that lumbar check, I think. Almost had it one. Now a big kick to the side of the head. Setting him up once again. Maybe looking for the ace of spades. No, tossed her around and into the pin. Roll up one, no. No, took too much time. Showing off. Now he's paying for it. Into the pinfall once again. One, two, three. He's just caught even from surprise with that move, and it gave him the victory. What a debut win for Ace here tonight. Gotta be disappointed if you are Aiden Archer. Looking back here, a lot happened in the short amount of time. Aiden almost had it one right here. Ace was able to turn around, hit one last move, and take the victory. Debut match win. But that is not all. It is time for Fallen to come out on his bike. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 292 pounds, the Grim Reaper. Fallen a very dangerous athlete in that ring. He's looking to just 
put another win on the column. Finals rankings here in the semi main event. Obviously, next up it will be that woman's. Lin it will be that <laughs> that woman's championship match. That three-way between LMA Hargort, uh, Lockjaw, and Ryder. Speaking of Ryder's fallen, he's going one-on-one -on -one with this man, Dragonheart. And his opponent from Queens, New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, Mr. Amazing. The Dragon Heart. Mr. Amazing. The Dragon Heart. <laughs> JW loves dragons. JW loves Dragon Heart. Obviously, he won the first ever main event of JW Exhibition, being its own brand. Really, a big part of the. The new show, the new roster, the brand new exhibition remodeled. It's become even bigger than it once was. The own roster, the own stacked divisions, championships tonight. And now, look for a quick victory right here, too. But Fallen, also a big part of that change. Came in around the same time. Now he's got the submission hole locked in. Will the bigger man tap right here? No, too early on in the match. So we'll just kick him away. Kick away the small Drake Hart. He's powering him around. Lifting him up. Maybe a power slam he's looking for. Running power slam. Grabbed him by the head now. Oh, look at that. Dragonheart came out of nowhere and hit that suplex. But too close to the ropes. Otherwise, that might have been it. That might be enough to shock Fallen. A big flip to you, The next. Fallen with the elbow shots to the mid section gets out of it. I think uh, this misplaced that uh, lariat. Either that or drink or just duck the last second. And then moon salt. One, two, three. No, that was almost it. The moon salt almost put it away. Now going up. Maybe looking for a 619. Hits it. Dragon Heart gets a 619. Now a we're just going into the ring, going to the top rope now. It's not finished, not enough. What? But the knees were up from falling. Now just powered him around there. Lifted him up, slammed him down. One. But on the rope. Wait. He grabbed the rope, but the ref did not see. But Fallen technically got the win. Here is your winner, the, the Grim Reaper. But Dragonheart did get the rope. His hand was placed on the rope. The ref did not see in time. And Fallen, he stole the win almost. I mean, Dragonheart is your right. This, he did not lose a match, but he. The ref made a mistake there. What's it? Dragonheart's not going to be happy with that one. But what does that mean for the future? I don't think Fallen cares. He's just biking his way out of here. But that cannot be the end of that. But it's time for our main event. The Exhibition Women's Championship is on the line for the first time ever. Who will become first ever inaugural? Exhibition Women's Champion.
The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Salt Lake City, Utah, Bad Attitude Belle Bella Lockjaw, a, a very dangerous technician in that ring. We've seen what she could do on the main roster previously. Now an exhibition, an even bigger opportunity for her to make a name, make a big statement here tonight by becoming exhibition women's champion if successful. But if she's going to do so, she's going to have to beat not only one, but two women. I think Brandy Ryder and Fallen might share bikes. From Hollywood, California, the Legend Killer. The biking buddies coming down. Brandy Ryder glowing like a Slimer. Slimer may become the first ever exhibition women's champion, but she's got to beat not only Bella Lockjaw, but LMA Harcourt as well. Brandy, someone else who has made a name for herself on the main roster, but mainly having a good career here on exhibition just before it was its own brand. She can be a lot in the original exhibition. Can she pick up the victory here tonight? Be a big win. Biggest win of her career. First we got Ellen. From England, Eli May. We've got Ellen May Harcourt. She just recently really making a statement in the entering department here in JOW. Before was just a manager for talent such as uh, Valiant Flame. But recently in the new season, she's not only made waves here in JW, but in 6W, everywhere she is, she makes waves. Tonight, what bigger wave could she make than becoming first ever women's champ? That is what they're fighting for. Last night we seen a similar match. This is elimination rules. What a match it was last night. If these women can even put half of the stuff into this match, it'll be an amazing match. So we chance to go past it. And now with suplex. Right on top of the head of Brandy Ryder. Snapping on the arm. Trading kicks there. All three of these women, great technical ability. And Brandy comes to mind first, but we've seen technical stuff from all three of these women. Ellen May Harcourt almost won that Annal Glory Royal at Born for Glory. And what a win that would have been. Coming into Born for Glory from Exhibition, win the whole match. Unfortunately, she did not. Natasha instead took that victory. Tonight's not about Natasha. Tonight's not about Born for Glory tonight. It's about the women's championship. What a backbreaker. That is what Brandy has made famous of her repertoire. Now take out. They've been doing a great job of trading their attention to everyone. Not like anyone catch their breath. But now Alec from behind. Neckbreaker. 
And Bella taking control, maybe a sharpshooter. No, uh, he's got those legs locked in now. Let go, though. Tied it. It's not going to be enough to keep it down for now. It's the midsection. Or me. It's his, the ropes. Big shot to the head. Rip cord, and now. What a lariat. Climb to the top rope. And a knee right to the face. Connects hard. And now. She almost made that land right on top of Ella's head. Almost not only a suplex, but also a leg drop. Bell walks out multi testing. Now takes out on a hard cart. Some forearm shots. Now some targeting the head, targeting every limb of the body. That is what Bella does. Look at that. Spin heel kick. But Brandy able to toss her over the top of her onto the outside. Everybody on the outside. I was at this unique opportunity to catch your breath, maybe. Will she take it? We're about to find out. Whoa! She went flying with that tope. Suicida did not pay off. Just missed both women, but still, so far, that counts, you know? Thought that counts. Uh, back into the ring. Locking the arms. We know what this is. Just combination here. And now Bella's on playing her Ella. Getting him going. She knew Bella was behind her. Got the hell out of there. Now locking in the ankle lock. Is that enough to make Brandy Riders tap right here? No, clubbing her way out of it. It's gonna deal some damage to the ankle though. But Ella seems like no, maybe look for the DT. Got out of it. Did Brandy Rider? Bella Lockjaw on the outside now. Big low sign. A kick to the midsection. Maybe a. We seen that with JC Bright last uh, last night. Is Sean Gears, but now one, two, three. A competitor has been eliminated. That will leave two. That's a huge oh GTS, that might be it right there. Bella Lockjaw. Two, three, no. That was it. That should have been it. The mind of Bella Lockjaw. But still a huge elimination for Brandy Ryder. She put it, she was definitely a favorite to win this match. After everything she's done here in exhibition, even before it became its own brand, she is in many ways. Exhibition. Oh, May Herker able to get out of that. Pulls the hair back. A leg drop. And LA kick. Now climbing to the top rope, not wasting any time. And elbow drop. Connected from across the ring. Now just setting up. But no, I knee to the face instead. Can she? The GTS, two GTS, that's got to be all. The new women's champion, Bella Lock. No, how is she still in that? Two GTSs, one of the most devastating moves possible. Octa's pumped. Lockjaw's cracking the neck. Lockjaw is ready to take that title home. They block those two moves there. Ate him. Ate him for breakfast. And now it's time. 
throw him up for lunch. Whatever that means. Cracking the arm, cranking on it. And now a kick. Some punches and form of shots. One of these two women are going to win. Who do you think it will be? Maybe she's looking for Bella hit. Or Ella. Bella and Ella. It's going to cause some problems for me in commentary. But that's fine. Bella back into the ring. Change of mind. It's seen that Ella was pretty well out of this. Let's capitalize on that. What a two big kicks right to the head. Maybe a suplex onto the barricade. That would be horrendous. And a suplex instead from Bella Lockshaw. Knee to the side of the head, onto to the ear. Twisting the arm. That's what she does, she twists his joints. It's twisting it all around. Twisting her own neck. She's not supposed to do that so many times. Might cause some bone damage, muscle damage, some sort of damage. Back into the ring. Ella's on roller skates, but seems to have gained her. Gained herself back into the ring. Wants to put it back in the ring. Wants to finish this off. The only place she knows how. Only place possible in this match. Going for the pin. One. A dose. A tres. Off of the suplex. After everything on the outside of the ring that Ella went through. And we have the first ever women's exhibition champion. By the name of Bella Lockjaw. But look at everything she went through in this match. That GTS and another. Look at those GTS's things of beauty. And after all of that, this Here's is what we get in result. These past two episodes have marked a paradigm shift in JLW exhibition. Two brand new champions, but tomorrow night we will be back here for JLW, the main show, the main roster. In that show, it's going to be a stacked show, so make sure to be right here tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you here next week as well on Tuesday, Thursdays, every days, T days. See you for JW on TT, T-Day, T-Time.